So yeah, back to what my cousin said about conformity. This is why people... So yeah, see, cuz, I actually like your... Um, what do you call it? It's around here somewhere. I actually like your 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 YouTube um, account, profile picture, and it? It, looks, it looks sick, man. But yeah, um, like my cousin said, um, yeah, this is why people drive around in these cars and stuff like that. They feel like they need to be living a certain lifestyle just because they make a certain amount of money. Yeah, you can do what you want. Do what you want to do, yeah? Just don't complain where your platform gets taken away from you. That's why you got man who are talking about anti-Semitic this, anti-Kemetic this, whatever, innit, yeah? And now they're backtracking on what they say, yeah? We all know man in America have said some stuff and had to apologise to this person or whatever, taking back their chat. But why are you apologising for something that you generally believe in? Like, this isn't just something impulsive. Oh, I don't think you lot are the real Israelites or the real Jews or whatever. No, this is something that you believe, yeah? So why are you apologizing for your thoughts, right? And I'm sure he didn't say it in a bloody rage. I'm sure he didn't square up to no one with a knife or nothing like that. He probably just made a statement, yeah? Why are you backtracking on what you're saying, yeah? Unless you generally have changed your mindset on that, then fine, yeah? But there's no way you're going to generally change your mindset on something after a week or two, yeah? He has an employee's mindset. He was scared that they would take away his platform, yeah? Because he more than likely hadn't been investing in properties and stuff like that. If the guy was investing in properties here and there and he was making the same amount of money as he did on his platform, hosting this show or that show or whatever, why would he care if he lost his platform? Why? Well, I wouldn't. Again, a man wants that security because he has an employee's mindset. No, if I mean, you need to shake the employee's mindset, man. This is why there's so, so many people maybe watching this live stream now, maybe watching this replay. Their managers are disrespectful to them. Their managers don't talk to them nicely, yeah? And they put up, they put up with it, yeah? Because they have an employee's mindset. They're like, well, boy, if I don't take this shit, I might not even have a job to take any shit, yeah? If you don't believe me, yeah, ask yourself. The way your manager speaks to you or the way some of your managers have spoken to you in the past, would you like have liked your manager to talk to you like that in front of your people? Like maybe your children or your girlfriend, yeah? Or in your house? No. Would you let your manager, would you let that person talk to you like that if there was someone in the street? No. So they're not talking to you correct, isn't it? But people put up with it because they've got an employee's mindset. Now, obviously, you know, managers and now they have bad days, wherever and they might lash out. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, you still stick it on them or whatever, innit, yeah? And hopefully they come around and be like, you know what, I didn't even mean it like that. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, we're human beings, innit? Yeah? But they're generally talking to you a certain way, day-to-day -day basis. You're putting out of it because you've got an employee's mindset, yeah? You're scared of leaving that job because you feel like you can't get no better or there ain't better out there.